Rise and shine, my people. Welcome back to the channel. This is Evan Aga at the Astrophysique, but I knew y'all already knew that. If you didn't already know that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can get to know. Today, I'm gonna be giving you my top three tips to get jacked fast. I'm making this video in response to my last video I made on how to get shredded fast. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go back and check it out. That video was so popular, I had some people reach out and request, special request, a video on how to bulk up fast. If you're trying to get shredded fast, I have a video for you. If you're trying to bulk up and get jacked fast, this is the video for you. My first tip, if you're trying to get jacked fast, is to know how much is actually enough when it comes to eating and how much you should eat. One of the things that I hear the most is people who say, I'm eating a lot, but I'm not gaining weight. The answer is short, sweet, and simple. You're just not eating enough. If you're eating, 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 and you're still not gaining weight, you need to eat, eat, eat some more. It's plain and simple. You need to keep eating until you start seeing the number on the scale go up. When you start gaining weight, that's when you know you're eating enough. Now, how much weight do you want to be gaining? Really, you should not look to gain more than one to two pounds per week if your goal is to stay lean while you're bulking up. One pound up to two pounds per week weight gain combined with a proper strength routine as well so you can ensure that you're putting on muscle will be more than enough for you to see steady and lean progress. So number one is actually know how much you need to eat. Don't just think you're eating enough. If you're not seeing the results, you're not eating enough. Tip number two, if you're trying to get jacked fast, is to be strategic. I'm gonna dive a little deeper into this, so stick with me here. When I say be strategic, I mean a lot of things. For one, and just to give you a few examples, start eating earlier in the day. The earlier you start eating in the day, the more time throughout the day you have to eat more calories. A lot of people, again, struggle with eating actually enough food. And so you need to give yourself more time to be able to consume calories if you wanna be able to get in as much as possible. So that's one way you can be strategic. Another way you can be strategic is using shakes to your advantage. I'm not talking about protein shakes. I'm not talking about garbage mass gainer shakes. Nobody should be drinking mass gainer. Nobody really even needs protein shakes. You need real food. You need to throw the supplements away. You need to focus on the basics. That's what gets the job done in the best way possible. So use shakes to your advantage. What do I mean by that? What I mean is put shakes together using your own whole ingredients. Almonds, bananas, honey, Greek yogurt. You can put all of these things together in a shake and consume way more than if you were to actually sit there and eat all of those foods individually. It's much easier to consume it as a shake. Try to keep like ingredients together so you don't disrupt your digestive system, disrupt your bowels by any means. So put all these foods together, make it into a big shake. You can make your own mass gainer shake. Don't rely on the garbage that these companies are trying to sell you. You don't need any of it. You need real food and you need a lot of it. That's what's gonna give you the best results by far, guaranteed, I promise you. That's another way you can be strategic. Another way you can be strategic is to incorporate snacks throughout your day. A lot of people are busy, of course, maybe you're going to work, maybe you're in school, whatever it is, I'm sure you have a full day and you have a full schedule. You need to carry snacks with you that require no prep, no cleaning, and they're easy to transport. Pistachios, almonds, peanuts are great examples. Sometimes you can have your shake that you make along with you as well. You can have different bars and Greek yogurt, even easy to eat. Anything really that you can take with you to get more calories in with you throughout the day is something that you wanna be doing so that you don't miss out on any eating opportunities. My third and final tip for you if you're trying to get jacked fast is to make sure you are getting stronger. It goes without saying that you should be in the gym working out so you can actually build muscle and not just put on weight in the form of fat. 
you want to be in the gym at least i would say three to four times per week and on top of that you want to be focused on strength what do i mean by that i don't mean that you need to be in the gym pushing your one rep max every single time and risking some type of unnecessary injury you should however be putting the calories that you are eating to work using that fuel to push your body to get stronger over time in a way that is steady and safe as well. So every week you should be looking to either add a few pounds to your lifts or squeeze out a rep or two that you weren't able to do the week before. You should be able to make this progress with little to no trouble if you're actually eating enough food because those extra calories you have in your body are gonna be put to work and they're going to help you grow. So make sure you're getting stronger. Again, every week you should either be going up with your weight or you should be able to knock out an extra rep or two compared to what you were able to do the week before. That's the best way to track it in my experience. Of course, there are many ways to measure your progress. Those are not the only measurements of progress, but if you're trying to grow, if you're trying to get bigger, those are two of the biggest ways that you should be measuring your progress in my opinion. Now, because y'all are so great and you've been supporting the channel and supporting me in my journey, I want to show my appreciation and give you a bonus tip. Just make sure you subscribe for me. The bonus tip applies to whether you're trying to bulk or cut. Either situation, you can apply this tip, you can apply this advice to help you make progress in your fitness journey. Now, this tip is simple. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. If you're trying to bulk up, or if you're trying to shred down, you're going to need to push your body to a place it has not been before. And you're going to need to do things that you're not used to doing. This requires a level of tolerance to discomfort. You need to be willing to make yourself uncomfortable for the result. If you always stay comfortable, you're always gonna stay exactly where you are. You're not gonna change unless you get out of your comfort zone. So get uncomfortable and get comfortable being uncomfortable. I'll tell you firsthand, the results are well worth it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for supporting me in my journey. I love you. I appreciate you. Shoot for the stars.